Wartime, Understanding and Behavior in the Second World War, by Paul Fussell, is a poignant exploration of the human experience during World War II. In this literary analysis, we will delve into the book's themes, Fussell's writing style, and his message to the readers. Fussell, an American cultural and literary historian, skillfully navigates the complexities of wartime through a blend of personal narratives, cultural insights, and historical context. One of the central themes of wartime is the stark contrast between the idealized image of war propagated by governments and the grim reality experienced by soldiers and civilians. Fussell asserts that there is a stark disjunction between the official discourse surrounding war and the actual experience of warfare. He argues that the romanticized image of heroism and glory is a facade that conceals the brutal and dehumanizing aspects of combat. Through vivid anecdotes and literary references, Fussell demonstrates how war disrupts the ordinary and exposes individuals to a world of chaos and terror. Fussell's writing style is characterized by a blend of academic rigor and personal reflection. He draws on an extensive range of sources, from poetry and literature to first-hand accounts from soldiers, to construct his narrative. This approach allows Fussell to convey the multifaceted nature of wartime experiences. His literary references, such as Wilfred Owen's War Poetry, provide a deep emotional resonance to the narrative, enabling readers to connect on a profound level with the subject matter. Fussell also shares his personal experiences as a combat infantryman in World War II, adding a layer of authenticity to his analysis. The author meticulously dissects the language and euphemisms employed during wartime to sanitize the brutal reality of combat. Fussell delves into the use of euphemisms, which he dubs, the enemy of truth. He argues that euphemisms, like, collateral damage, or, friendly fire, distance people from the true horrors of war, making it easier for societies to accept the unacceptable. Fussell emphasizes the importance of using plain and honest language to convey the realities of warfare, ensuring that the public is fully aware of the sacrifices and atrocities that occurred during wartime. Moreover, Fussell explores the dehumanizing impact of war on individuals. He examines how soldiers, in particular, experience a loss of innocence and a detachment from their former selves. Through the lens of literature, Fussell shows how war creates a stark contrast between the naive pre-war expectations and the harsh realities of combat. This transformation is not limited to the battlefield, it extends to the home front, where civilians are also subjected to the emotional toll of wartime. Fussell also addresses the role of humor as a coping mechanism during wartime. He argues that humor is a vital tool for soldiers and civilians alike to confront the absurdity and horror of war. The author illustrates this with numerous anecdotes that reveal how humor served as a means of survival, a way to maintain sanity amidst the chaos. Fussell's exploration of this facet of human behavior adds depth to his analysis, shedding light on the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In conclusion, wartime, understanding behavior in the Second World War, is a compelling and thought-provoking work by Paul Fussell. Through an insightful examination of language, personal narratives, and cultural nuances, Fussell dismantles the myths and illusions surrounding war, offering readers a raw and unvarnished view of the human experience during World War II. His unique blend of academic research and personal reflection makes this book a captivating exploration of the psychological and emotional impact of war on both soldiers and civilians. Fussell's call for truth in language and his appreciation of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity resonate deeply, serving as a poignant reminder of the importance of understanding the true cost of war.